Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Chess, and today we will talk about elimination. So it's quite an odd topic or discussion to have, right? About elimination. What about that? Um, what kind of elimination, right? Am I talking about? Um, so the other week, um, you know the oh, let's just not try that. I mean the other week um there's something wrong with my phone um where I want to charge the phone right using the you know my usual charger and you know my usual adapter and then um in my usual uh power socket and then uh the thing is that um as when I look at the battery bar or the percent uh battery you know um it was five percent right when i charge and then i also use the phone at the same time um uh, after a while like uh you know 30 minutes or more it it doesn't actually change uh from five percent it actually stays at five percent so um i was kind of worried right if there's something wrong with my phone, right? Um, you know, uh, at the time I was kind of panicked, but then also, um, you know, like panic because um, how am I going to do any of this anymore, right? If I don't have phone, because I on I only do this right now with my phone anyway. So if I don't, um, you know, have my phone, then I cannot continue this right so this will be a failed project but um, you know because my uh, laptop or my PC uh, you know my laptop basically is used um, for my sisters uh, for my sibling I mean because uh, you know for their um, school stuff right because um, although at the time I record this uh, the you know the school has gone back to offline um and we don't need to do online anymore so but uh, you know the my laptop is still used uh for their uh, assignment or homework from the school basically and yeah um i was panicked right and then um i tried to calm down a little bit because you know um I'm an and I I studied in engineering, right? So I I, you know, being sad about it or you know being panicked doesn't solve the problem, right? Um, if you're from engineering, you know that the way to solve the problem is to try to solve the problem, right? Um, like actually try to solve that by you know, uh, troubleshooting and then do what you can do, right? To uh basically save or repair anything that is broken in the system right um so yeah i calm down i start doing that so the first thing that i do is troubleshooting right uh what is the root of the cause of uh the problem right in this case uh it's clear right uh the battery of my phone uh you know doesn't go anywhere from five percent so it doesn't actually actually charge the phone right therefore i need to uh you know list make a list of things that is potentially or probably broken right of course number one was the handphone or a smartphone actually um let's just do smartphone not handphone because um handphone is more like all um you know all uh what is it like old call for old phone and then um the the cable right uh the charging cable i mean for uh to charge my phone basically maybe that's the one uh that is broken and not my phone and then the third is the adapter because you know um android they have like adapter and then there is the usb plug in into the uh adapter right which is connected to the cable and then the cable starts to uh you know go into the phone right um and then the last is the 
power socket or the outlet basically um the outlet of uh, where uh, you know the source of the power right in this case is electricity um yeah just like the power socket or the outlet right maybe that's uh that is broken because it had happened before and i fixed it maybe it broke again right so i have these four uh you know suspects right then um the thing i do is elimination which is the title of this video right the elimination process um how do i determine which of those four is actually one of them is the you know the cause or the actual cause of the problem right before we actually try to solve uh, you know the problem of course we need to know the source of the problem itself and we got that we got that four that i have listed um but we need to narrow down to maybe one right we hope that only one of them is broken right so how how i do it right so the first thing that i do is i do elimination process so we do one of uh, you know one by one um and i do the the first thing that i do is of course the um changing the outlet or the power source or you know the source of the power that charge my phone right so i use an extension uh socket or outlet so i tried uh, you know not using that um i connect the cable into the um outlet uh in other place right um but when i did that uh my phone is still quote unquote broken uh where the charge uh you know the phone cannot be charged still um it stays at five percent so you know with this conclusion i know that it's not the outlet so i can cross out number one right uh it means that the outlet socket is probably fine that's not the problem because changing the outlet still uh you know doesn't uh, solve the problem which is charging the phone so i move to the second one uh not crossing out that just yet which was about uh the cable right maybe it was the cable so uh you know i use my other cable uh you know my dad's cable i think and using that in his power uh bank which is you know um the like a bank of power basically power bank where it stores uh electricity for a while to charge phone right you guys know that i believe um so i use his cable and then connect to my phone but the thing is that um it works right um it still works uh therefore i know that um actually no uh wait um i oh yes uh this is not the cable i think uh this is to prove that my phone is all right so i use my dad's power source which is the power bank and then i use my dad's cable uh but i still use my phone right of course um but this time it works uh it charged my phone actually it went from five percent to twelve percent only within the course of like i don't know 10 15 20 minutes i think so in this conclusion i know that my phone is not the problem my phone is fine uh therefore i can cross out another cause which is uh you know my phone itself which is not in this case because i can still charge using my dad's uh you know power bank and cable so that's not it right and then um i I retry again I retried the same thing but this time I use my own cable uh, instead of my dad so I know that my phone is fine right so I use my cable and this time my cable is fine so you know I can cross out another uh, you know source of uh, like suspect right therefore by process of elimination right which I am doing right now uh, my uh you know out of those four suspects it means that the last one which was the adapter um is the one that is broken right so i try to prove that 
by you know uh you know borrowing my dad's phone actually and you know use my adapter um use my adapter and then use my uh cable but this time i use my dad's phone um and yeah as we know uh his phone percent battery doesn't increase it means we know what the cause of this problem right which is the adapter um therefore uh because i know uh the thing that is broken is my adapter uh and you know i cannot fix that right therefore i know uh but because i know that it's the one that is broken i then can uh you know buy a new one basically because it's kind of cheap um it's only like two bucks i think uh not even two bucks i think it's like 1.5 bucks i think uh usd uh you know uh converted to my currency um it's like that cheap anyway so yeah i paid the new one and you know um uh, and thanks to that uh you know process of elimination i know that my phone is not you know broken and then my cable is fine and then the outlet that i'm using is also fine but the one that is broken is my uh, adapter right and then uh, you know i can just buy a new one uh, because it's cheap and yeah that's basically it uh, process of elimination if you have something like this also um you know basic engineering stuff actually um if there is a problem there must be something that caused the problem to exist right and usually it's something that is the closest one to that uh you know the the area or the environment of the problem or the thing that is uh you know the problem right and you know you can uh see by yourself um what cause you know what is the cause of that and then if you find if you can find what is broken then you can uh, you know proceed to the next one which is solving that um can you repair it or is it you know replaceable with something new uh you know is if uh if i buy a new one is it uh cheap or expensive right and stuff like that and in this case i buy just buy a new one because it's cheap and it works um i can actually i find uh the same adapter that i'm using so there shouldn't be any problem right because it's the same a uh, brand uh, that i'm using for years now and yeah there's that um as for the cause of how or why it it was broken i don't know i'm not sure about that but i know that it's broken and it caused my phone to not charge right and yeah there's that and that's what matter um anyway but yeah um i think that will be it for today's discussion about elimination process um I hope you learned something from this uh you know if there is something you know if there is some problem that happened to you um and you don't know what to do right just keep calm and you know figure out or troubleshoot for what caused the problem to exist to exist uh in the first place right make a list of possibilities and then you know just by process of elimination try one by one uh, you know just make proof that uh you know that cause is actually innocent or is found not guilty for the problem right then you can you know eliminate one by one and you know once you done everything else therefore you know that the last one is actually the suspect right uh the one that caused the problem to happen and you know from there you can um therefore uh think about how to solve that Uh, like i said earlier but yeah um just you know being engineering uh student graduate uh you know bachelor degree not to brag about it but you know want to uh just deliver what i'm learning during my study right which is about you know basically engineering is about you fixing something right you make something into something else and then if there is something broken you fix it right that's just pure engineering stuff right um yeah and this is one of the case uh you know many cases that you can apply of those um you know met- method right um 
just by process of elimination but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for watching i will see you again tomorrow with another discussion thank you guys so much for watching um like subscribe subscribe especially just um you know help the channel to go um you know have more audience and you know let me know down below what you think about um uh, you know where else we can do process of elimination um you know outside of this engineering stuff right but yeah uh stay safe stay healthy eat healthy drink healthy uh take care of take care of yourself because it's middle of summer um you know it's hot out there right uh make yourself uh you know don't get yourself burned in the sunlight because that's not healthy um and yeah i will see you again tomorrow and goodbye